as the year is coming to a close, we're highlighting some of the biggest stories that happened here on the Gulf Coast. We're ending the week with the last four months of the year, showcasing some of the moments from September through December. Starting off with September, famed musician Jamie Buffett died at the age of 76 after a four-year fight with skin cancer. Jimmy Buffett was honored by a former bandmate, businesses on the coast, and Senator Sidney Hyde-Smith passed a Senate resolution honoring Jimmy Buffett. He was remembered for more than his music, too. Jimmy Buffett donated two planes to Battleship Memorial Parks in Mobile. In October, the News 25 morning crew took the Gulf Coast on the road as they covered Cruise Central for Cruise in the Coast. Grant, Chief Meteorologist Rob, and I headed out to bring daily coverage of events all across the Gulf Coast. And it wasn't just us. Throughout the day, News 25 team brought cruise events right to your home. And kicking off in November, Chief Meteorologist Rob Knight headed to Coastal Cities to bring News 25's newest segment, Celebrate Cities. The series kicked off on November 7th with Rob headed to Pascagoula, ending on November 28th with a final stop in Ocean Springs. Throughout the mornings every Tuesday, Rob talks to local residents and public officials to get a feel of what the city he was in. And in the end of the year with a serious case on December 14th, the Gulfport Biloxi International Airport was evacuated after an emailed threat. Other locations in Mississippi received the threat as well, including Stennis International Airport in Hancock County and the Jupiler Airport.